So once you have your footage loaded up inside of Adobe After Effects, we need to go ahead and we need to duplicate this footage layer. Now, before we go any further, we're just gonna change the workspace mode into motion tracking. Now on this top video layer, we want to go ahead and we want to create a circle mask. So we'll change this up to the ellipse tool and we'll draw a circle around our face. Now you want to go into the mask, add a keyframe, and you want to update this keyframe so that it follows the face through the entire duration of the shot. This doesn't have to be perfect, this can just be super rough to begin with. Now if we go over to the tracker box on the right of After Effects, we can change the method to face tracking detail features. Now After Effects will go ahead and analyze the movement of all of your facial features and create tracking points for every single part of this footage. So now if we go into this video with the tracking points created, if we go into effects, face track points, we can see that the left eye has left eyebrow, inner, middle and outer. We've got the left eye, inner, we've got all these other features. So now we need to go ahead and create a brand new white solid. Now we're just gonna turn that off for now, just so we can see what we're doing. We'll go up to the circle mask again and we'll draw a circle around the pupil. Now I just need to update the anchor point so that the anchor point falls within the middle of this white circle. So if you don't know how to do this, you want to go ahead and press A on your keyboard and then change this so that your solid fits within the middle of your anchor point. Now once that's centered up, you can go ahead and change the position of this and place this back onto the eye. And now if we hold down option and press on the stopwatch on position, it's gonna change the numbers from white to red. Now this means we can add an expression or we can parent this to another set of keyframes. So we'll go into the lasso tool. We'll drag this down to the left pupil. Now there you go, that is tracked to our footage perfectly. And we need to do the same thing for the next eye. So we're just gonna copy this white solid, delete the keyframes that we had before. And now same thing again, holding down on option, press the stopwatch on position, and you want to drag this down to the other eye. So that'll be the right pupil. And there you go, that's two white circles perfectly tracked to the pupils, but they're a little bit too harsh right now, so I'm going to go into the mask and I'm going to increase the feather on both of these just a little bit, not too much on this. Now from here we need to go ahead and create a brand new adjustment layer, so we'll go up into layer, new, adjustment layer, and in the adjustment layer we want to draw a mask around our eyeball. But before that, we want to go ahead and we want to make sure that the anchor point is within the middle of the eye. And when that is, we can go ahead and draw that mask. Now, same thing again, you want to go ahead, press P to bring the position, hold option, press the stopwatch, and then parent this to the left pupil. Now that adjustment layer will perfectly track to the eyeball. So from now, we need to go ahead and add some color to this adjustment layer. So go into effects and presets and search for curves. Now, once you've applied curves, you have RGB, you've got red, green, and blue channels here, but we basically just want to make this look nice, bright, and white. And once you've done that, we can go into the mask of the adjustment layer and just increase the feather. Now we want to go into effects and presets, search for tint, drag tint on top of that adjustment layer and we'll change the white to red. Now there you go, that is tracked to the eyeball and it's really starting to get there. So we need to go ahead and copy this effect onto the other eye. Perfect, and now from here we need to create a brand new adjustment layer, so go into layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll draw an even circle around the center of the frame. Now this should fall perfectly within the center of the frame, and if it's not, then you want to make sure you align this up with the anchor point perfectly. Now once you've completed that, you want to drag that anchor point over to the center of the eyeball, and we'll go into effects and presets and search for levels. Thank you. 
Once you've applied the levels to the adjustment layer, we want to increase the input white, and then we want to drag tint onto this adjustment layer, and we want to map the white to a pale red, and we want to map the black to a dark red. Now you want to pull down the amount of tint to around 60, 70%, and in the mask, we want to feather this up. So we'll go into mask feather, pull this up to around 150. And then I'm just going to close down this mask just to contain the effect a little bit. Now we'll go back into effects and presets, search for hue slash saturation. And then we'll just pull the master saturation over to the right. Now from here, we need to parent this to the tracking point. So press P on your keyboard to bring up position, hold option, press the stopwatch, and we'll drag this over to the pupil on the left eye. Now there you go, that adjustment layer is sticking, it looks really awesome. And again, like we've done for all of the other effects, we need to copy this onto the other eyeball and make sure that we parent this position to the correct eyeball. Now this is starting to get there, but it is a little bit too intense on the eyes. So I just want to go ahead and decrease the size of this mask. So I'm just gonna adjust that now, just to make sure that these masks don't bleed into one another. Now from here, we need to create a brand new black video. So we'll go into layer, new solid and we'll change this to black press ok on that and in effects and presets we're going to search for lens flare drop lens flare on top of the black solid and we want to hold option on our keyboard and press the stopwatch on the flare center this will load up those advanced features on the black solid and when you find the pick whip tool you want to drag this down and drop it onto the left pupil now this is tracking our eyeball but you can't see it because there is a black solid in the way so we're just going to change the blending mode on this black solid to screen. Now that does look really awesome, but I'm not a huge fan on that lens flare. So I'm going to go up into the lens type and I'm just going to choose a lens flare that works for me. And the 105 millimeter prime, I think is the best option for us, but it is a little bit too bright. So I'm just going to pull the flare brightness down to around 60%. Now we want to make this lens flare look even more red and even more intense. So we'll drop tint onto the lens flare. and we'll map the white to a pale red. There you go. Now we need to copy that effect onto the other eyeball. Again, parent this to those tracking points. So now we need to add one more thing just to completely sell this effect off, and that is a black solid. So we'll go into layer, new, solid, change the color of this to black. And now just so we can see what we're doing, we're just gonna turn this off, and we'll go up to the pen tool, and we're just gonna draw a really tight rectangle around our eyes. And then we want to pull the slider head back and we want to change the mask so that this follows the rotation of the eyes. Keep doing this throughout the entire duration of the shot and once you've complete this, you can turn the layer back on. And we'll press the inverted box. Now go into the mask and we want to increase the feather up to around 200%. And then we'll reduce the opacity on this just so it's not so intense. And there you go, that is how you give yourself glowing red demon eyes in Adobe After Effects. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for watching every other video within this Halloween series. I hope you have a great Halloween and I will see you tomorrow for some regular non-spooky and non-scary filmmaking tutorials. See you there.